If you work or consult with a small or medium-sized business, please watch this video. I have some very disturbing research to share with you, but also ways to address the issue. The research is on the state of cybersecurity in SMBs. Hi, I'm Steve Murphy. I'm a vice president at ARG, and while I work for ARG, this video is my own and does not represent the views or opinions of my employer. This channel is dedicated to helping IT leaders make great business decisions, and today's conversation is around cybersecurity in small and medium-sized businesses, businesses up to 1,000 employees in size. I just came across a study from Checkpoint published in 2022. I'll link to the study in the description of this video. It's disturbing, to say the least. I've been in this business a long time, so I like to think I've seen it all, but the results of this survey are surprising. Now, anytime I consume research from a service provider, I know it's going to be exaggerated. I've spent several years in marketing and have designed surveys on my own products, and I know that you can shape the results of a study to reflect the outcome that you're seeking. That said, research that's conducted by third parties is usually directionally reliable, if maybe overstated. So even if this uh, research is not completely accurate, if it's just close, it's still worth diving into. According to Checkpoint's survey of 4,000 businesses across four industrialized countries, only about 60% of SMBs have even the most basic cybersecurity solutions in place. The numbers are pretty consistent across various security solutions, such as endpoint security, email security, or firewalls. The data was disaggregated, not combined. Looking at the details, 30 to 40% of businesses with less than 1,000 employees do not have endpoint protection, such as antivirus, anti-malware um, software. 30 to 40% do not have email security, and about 50% do not have firewalls. Now, occasionally in our practice, we'll run into a client with virtually no security posture. These tend to be smaller firms with largely remote workforce that's virtually all SaaS-based. More frequently, we'll run into clients that are running suboptimal, more consumer-oriented solutions, such as freeware or very low-cost services, never in the 30 to 40% range. So again, I think these numbers are exaggerated, but still, even if they're close, they're, they're pretty scary. I think it's also safe to assume that these same organizations that are not investing in cybersecurity are also not investing in backup and recovery, patch management, penetration testing, or other spending to help protect them from a disaster. This is exactly why small and medium-sized businesses are likely to go out of business after a se uh, severe security incident. I suspect that many might have looked at security solutions over time and determined that they were just too expensive. That might have been the case five years ago, but today we're helping firms with fewer than 100 employees obtain a solid security posture and 24 by 7 monitoring for the per-employee cost of a cell phone plan then if you still don't have space in your budget, we're also experts at looking at other areas of technology spend to find more savings. We can frequently pay for new initiatives from savings found in other budget categories. Uh, there's really no reason to expose the future of a business to a subpar security posture. Our consulting is free, so there won't be uh, an expense to get our assistance. Now, this turned into a little bit more of a commercial than I had intended, but I do feel passionately about this topic. Smaller companies need the same protection as larger ones. There is no such thing as I'm not a target. If you have a bank account, you are a target of the bad guys. In our business, we've seen some of the smallest firms come, come under ransomware attacks and really struggle in the aftermath. If you need some advice on how to put the necessary protections in place for your business, maybe even need help finding the funds in your budget, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description of this video. If you got some value out of this bit video, please hit the thumbs up button below. That gives us a like, and that helps more people see my content. And thank you very much for doing that, by the way. And to come back to this channel in the future, the best way of doing that is to hit the subscribe button. That will put my new videos in your feed and help you find your way back here at your convenience. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.